business. So we've got the speed, we've got the strength, we've got the stamina, we've got the skills. And the last thing, the, the fifth S is strategy. Strategy pulls all of these together. So you, <clears throat> you have all of these four, but you don't have the right strategy. You're still not going to win the race. You're still not going to get the explosive results that you're after. So with BMX, <clears throat> uh, it's sort of there's two different types of strategy you focus on. You focus on your training. So um, if you don't have the right you can focus on on your speed out of the gate, but if you don't have the right skill to get fast over the first jump, you're wasting your time, spending all your time on your speed. You need to be able to also have the right skill to get to get over the first jump. Um, and in business, we would call that in, internal strategy. So uh, having having the right strategy. So like, like before I said, um, you might have the right product or a great product, but if you don't have the, the marketing skills to sell that product, then you, you're gonna fall down. So you need to find the weakest link in, in, your, in your processes to uh, build up those skills or the speed or strength to, so for everything to flow together. Um, the second type of strategy you focus on uh, in BMX is the race strategy. So um, it's uh, a lot more uh, technical than, than just riding fast. So when you come to the, the corner or the berm as they call it, you've got to make a decision. Are you going to um, go low, which is the shortest way, which may be the quickest way, but then you may not have enough momentum to get up the second straight and then people who have gone high are going to go past you down the second straight. Or are you going to go high uh, around, are you going to go high around the corner, but then you're opening up for your competitor to come through underneath. Um, so, you know, you've got to know yourself, your internal, but you also got to know your external. So you've got to know what your competitors are like. And so you, one, one way of that is doing uh, a competitive analysis. And so you're just looking at your strengths and weaknesses of your competitors, uh, just a simple five questions, uh, and, then, and then do it on yourself and work out, where are my competitors' strengths? Where are my competitors' weaknesses? Where are my strengths? Where are my weaknesses? And, and bringing it all together. So that's basically, um, my 5S training for explosive results and uh, and just remember <clears throat> the, the 5S of speed, strength, stamina, skills and strategy. So thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed this week's blog post and uh, I wish you all the best for all explosive results in your business. Thank you.